What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ryan, and today we're jumping back in the world of Balloons Adventure Time Tower Defense. Now, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be taking place in the Martian Games, which I'm not entirely sure what it is. It's an event that you can try to capture the Martian throne and compete with other people, which I'm pretty excited to take place in, guys. So, if you've also played Balloons Adventure Time, well, hop on in and see if you can compete as well. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Last episode, we were worked with the sun god temple and so now what we're gonna do is I actually took the things off the super monkey and I put it on dungeon Finn to make him as powerful as possible and I also added this new power up that I just got which is a uh, it's just a missile and it adds additional missile attack so I don't know exactly what that means but if that means dungeon Finn now shoots missiles I'm game. So we're just gonna give it a try and see what happens, right? So the Martian games have all sorts of crazy rules from just banning certain characters to having them change places between rounds. Alrighty, so no powers. Magic man will appear every few rounds and kidnap a random character. You'll encounter many more ghost balloons than usual. I don't know what a ghost balloon is. So we're gonna give that a try. So we're gonna give it up. We're gonna give it a try. So we have to beat Round 10. So it's held by that person right now. And they've held it for one minute. Okay. So highest round is five. Highest. So that person has gotten to round 10 before. All right. Well, let's give this a go. I'm ready. Oh, the Martian trader? Yo. So you can buy things from him, but you need. Oh, you need to get like gems and stuff. Oh, the Martian tracking device. That's a bunch of really cool stuff. So let's give this a try. All right. So these are the characters. Yeah. Boohoo, magic man. Okay, not really. I don't know what to expect, so let's give this a try. So we need to try to get to round 10, which round 10 seems really easy. So every three rounds, starting at round five, he'll abduct one of your characters and whisk them away from the fight. This character is chosen randomly. Okay. Oh, so, oh, look. So there's two, there's two ways that the balloons can go here. So Cassie doesn't fit there, right? No. Okay. What is this guy? All right, so we need to fit, we need to think about this. We don't have a lot of money to work with here. Um, I mean, Dungeon Finn is like easily the most important character, right? Easy. So you can't put him here, but you can put him here. So this is going to be, wait. Oh wait, so the balloons just go through here and then out through here. Oh, never mind. That's super easy. That is super easy. We can just, we're gonna stop the balloons right here in their tracks. Okay. Loot, okay. Oh my gosh! Yeah. That is the missile attack that he gets! That's so insanely broken! Are you kidding me? He. What? That's, that's, that's Finn's upgrade. He, this, oh, we've literally just broken the game. We've literally just broken the entire game. Look at this. Balloons can't even get to him. Because he just instantly annihilates them. Here, can we, we gotta, let's turn, we can turn on auto start. What is, that's the missile attack that he gets? So he just always drops those missiles everywhere. How is that fair? How is that balanced? Look how many, how fast he drops missiles. Wait, if I upgrade his skilled swordsmanship and he attacks faster, I wonder if missiles will also drop faster. I'm not entirely sure. All I know is that this is just really, really, really overpowered. Okay, look, so physical attacks like dart swords, explosions will pass right through them. You'll need to rely on other types of attack. Energy, bubblegum, fire, and ice to defeat them. Okay, so let's slow them down. So let's put our let's put our guy back down, and then we also need to get princess. There we go. I actually didn't want to put down that princess bubblegum. I wanted to put down a different princess bubblegum, but I guess if it works, it works. There we go. So she does take out the the ghost balloons, which I'm kind of very fortunate for. Okay, so let's sell this person and let's just get the normal princess bubblegum. And we can, oh no, one red balloon's gonna give it. That's fine. So we got, all right, so we've already gotten to round seven so far. So we need to try to get all the way up to, so the Martian guy steals random people. I don't like that he steals random people. I feel like I should start putting down decoy people, but if he steals my fin, I'm, I don't know what to do about that. Oh no, so some people are gonna kinda sneak by. I don't like it. 
So all we have to do is get to round 10, right? So he ended up stealing Princess Bubblegum. So I just put down Princess Bubblegum again. Which is a little bit annoying, but at the same time, like, it, I don't think it really matters that much, right? Alrighty, come on. Yeah, so sometimes I get by. He just follows the main balloon anywhere on the map. That is by far the most overpowered and broken thing ever. So we got to round 10. We need, I feel like I want to get the, the, the ice wizard, the ice guy. I feel like the ice guy is going to be pretty cool to have. Here, let's see. Ice bolts. There we go. So now we'll have some ice bolts. So he should be able to pop. So, so these, these ghost balloons are a little bit annoying, but I mean, even if some of them get by, oh no, that's not going to be easy to beat. You reached the round 10 milestone. Okay, so we got past the round 10. I do not like ghost balloons. Ghost balloons are really annoying. I need the fire princess. Where's our flame princess? All right, we claim the throne. The throne's ours now. Here we go. Let's put the flame princess down. I feel like the flame princess is going to do a good job of kind of just dealing with things, right? There we go. Alrighty. So now that we have the throne, we need to try to get as far as possible. Because the further we get, the harder it is for people trying to, to reclaim the throne, right? So we just want to make sure the throne just stays ours. Alrighty, there we go. We have a lot of money. Uh, do I don't want to really upgrade characters, right? Because I feel like if you upgrade characters, you kind of you get in trouble. Here, we're going to put these guys down here. Because they're relatively cheap, and they're going to stop a lot of balloons from entering or doing things that we don't want them to do. I don't I don't know how you want to... Um, we probably want to put Psy down. Let's put Psy down here, and she can kind of... Here, we'll do sharper shurikens, super sharp shurikens, and then we can also try to get multi-throw, too. There we go. Multi-throw is pretty expensive. What did she... St she stole Princess Bubblegum, but that's okay. So those... The ghost balloons actually go right by these guys, which I... Ugh. I don't like that the ghost balloons go right by them. I want Battle Moon. Battle Moon's a little expensive, but there we go. I think Battle Moon might be able to hit ghost balloons, which if if the Battle Moon hits ghost balloons, it does hit ghost balloons. All right, cool. So now we don't really have to worry about it. So we already got to round 16. So we claimed the throne at round 12. So everything past this is just icing on the cake or what is it called? I don't know. All right. We, it's the round 15, so we're earning these gems, which is actually really nice that we're earning all of these gems. It makes me happy. I'd like to try to start making some more money, but I really don't know what's... Yeah, I really don't know how this is going to go. I wish we had some way to, like, earn more money. Here, let's upgrade the Flame Princess. So let's get the Fire Sword, which would be kind of nice. And let's also do Flamethrower. Uh, flame bits. Turn in near into tra traitorous flame bits. Yeah, let's get flame bits as well. There we go. Now we have like a solid mixture. So this guy keeps stealing people. So I want to basically just put down decoy people. I wonder if he can steal. What's the cheapest person that we have? Probably this guy. So that's 200. So we'll put this guy down. Let's also put down this ice monkey. Let's put down just a couple of ice monkeys. They're, they only cost $300, right? So, we can just... Oh my gosh, he does actually nothing. Look at that, he just like stops one temporarily. Which is a little sad. I don't want to put any expensive towers down. Because if we put down expensive towers, it's just... Yeah, not ideal. Uh, let's put down... Let's put down PB. Okay, so let's do... Let's see, blast radius of gun attack, increased attack speed, and unwavering loyalty. I can't get over... How in- wait, what is this? What did it- I saw something that said remove for $700. What? What can you remove for seven? Oh, you remove that and it'll add water, I bet. So, who did they- she stole princess- wait, oh no, sh wait, what is- Oh, the flame princess! No, my flame princess! You jerk! That's fine. Alright, let's upgrade this guy to fire crown. And let's do skilled sword, savage strength, adrenaline boost, true warrior, shield throw. Okay. There we go. So this guy's gonna, he's gonna be in a much better situation now. We have to just basically make sure that he doesn't steal anybody. So we, because he, every three rounds he randomly steals one. So it doesn't look like he steals allies, only main characters. And so we just gotta make sure, oh no, a Moab. Oh my gosh, he destroyed the Moab on his own. 
There we go. We just got to keep putting these characters on. And remember, we're just trying to survive as long as possible so that nobody can take the throne from us. We're doing pretty good. We only have 47 lives, though. So we're going to start losing some lives here. Maybe, actually, let's get... Do we have... Oh, we don't have the person that makes lives for us. That is unfortunate. It'd definitely be nice to get... Because there is some things where, like, every five rounds... Oh, no, a ghost Moab? Oh, there's no way we're going to beat a ghost Moab. There is no way we beat a we beat a ghost Moab. No, he stole Finn. Slow down, slow down, slow down. He he stole Dungeon Finn from me. Shield bash, Battle Moon, Fire Crown, Shield Throw, Skilled Swordsmanship. Oh man, I can't believe he stole Finn. That was like my 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 main character. Which I mean, I obviously shouldn't invest everything into one character because I mean, if he takes that character like he just did, I'm in a much worse of a situation. But at the same time, I can't help myself. It's important. Like I need to be able to do this. All right, Savage Strength, Adrenaline Boost. I'd like to get True Warrior or the one-two combo is really good, but it's fine. We're kind of back to where we were. I'm just, I just have to hope that he doesn't steal the same character again because that is when it gets spicy. I hate that he keeps stealing my characters. I only have 47 lives left. Wait, why was that balloon? Oh, the Moab goes like really small. Oh, no. Okay. Come on. Come on. I think I, uh... They finally got us, boys. That's fine. So, we did get to round 24, though. So, I can't really complain about that. So, we'll, let's see what happens now. I wonder how many gems we got. So, there we go. Best round, round 24. So, we've held it for five minutes so far. So, the best round is that is round 10. So, this guy's highest round is round 15. So, we've held it for five minutes. So, we, so we get... So we get gems for holding it constantly. So we have 300 gems already. Let's look at the trader. So powers, 10 powers for a thousand. So this is actually not that bad. So dynamite. So what is the Martian tracking device? Equip character to can detect camel balloons. That's insane. That is absolutely insane. I want to buy that. So the limited time. So really, this is how you get like the really overpowered stuff. So I need to start working and trying to do that. I definitely could have survived longer than round 25. But I think for right now, we're doing pretty good, right? The highest round is 25. This guy looks like he's doing his best trying to hang in there. I wish I could spectate people, but we'll see. So it looks like the lobby's filled up. Best of luck to all of you people. Hopefully you guys can... Well, I guess I don't want to root them on because I want to. I want them to fail because then I get more gems. But at least they hopefully they put up a good fight. Oh, look! We also have some achievements. So we can collect that. Collect that. Collect. 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 I t we can collect like all of these things. Okay, become the sun god. Capture the Martian throne. All right, there's all those things. Sweet. And I think we get to open up a blue wish orb. So I can't complain. Let's see if we get any cool blue things. So the fire crown. Equipped character allies get two players. Unlocks royal fury upgrade for flame princess. Yes. I want that. So that way we can... I like the Flame Princess. What is this? Gold balloons get more cash when popped. That's kind of cool. I want that. I'm going to take that. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications. I'll see you guys tomorrow for some more awesome content. Stay awesome, everyone. Bye!